Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate answer on question on Quora using Socinator. If you want to answer questions on Quora, then Socinator can help you out. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your Quora account and hit Go to Tools. This will take us to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Quora through Socinator. Let's scroll to the right and click Answer on Question. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to answer questions on Quora within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Answer on Question activity. Let's start with Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows us to command the software on how to search targeted questions to answer. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the question. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have chosen your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, Click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For custom URLs, we need a specific question URL from Quora. Let's say you want to target this question for example. Click this button, then click Copy Link. Paste it in the Query box, then click Add. So this will target this specific Quora question. Next we have Keywords. Let's type horror for example, click add. So this will target questions containing this keyword on Quora. Next we have custom users list. For this one we need a specific Quora user. Let's say you want to target this user for example. So copy his profile ID here, paste it in the query box then click add. So this will target the questions of this Quora user. Finally, we have topic list. For this one, we need a specific Quora topic. Let's say you want to target this topic, for example. Copy the topic ID over here, then paste it in the query box, and click Add. So this will target the questions on that specific Quora topic. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, Simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to delete the third one, click it, and it's gone. The next configuration category is Manage Answer. Here we can create and manage the answers we want to send. Under Common Text, let's type Alien for example. You may clear using the Clear All button and it's gone. You may also click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click Open. For queries, this will depend on our search queries from earlier. So we can select one or more or all of them. Let's select all of them for example. If there's a word you want to filter, then type it in the filter text area over here. When you're ready, let's click the Add Comment to List button and it will be added to the comment lists over here. So you can see the comment, the queries, filter if there is, and the action button over here will allow us to edit or delete our answer. The next tool is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should answer on questions. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 83, medium with 250, fast with 416, or super fast with 833. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each question is answered. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after answering the number of questions you set in answer scrape per job. Answer Scrape Per Job will allow you to specify the number of questions to answer per job or per cycle. You can also specify the number of questions to answer per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max answer scrape per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. 
This is very useful if you want to keep answering questions even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it Quora answer. Click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing Quora answer. The next tool is answer filters. This allows us to filter the answers on Quora. So you can specify the minimum and maximum number of the answers count, question followers count, comments count, public followers count, views count, and last ask days count. Check the last one to target those with a locked status. The last tool is manage blacklisted users. Blacklisted users are the Quora accounts you do not want Socinator to interact with. This can either be a private blacklist, which belongs to a specific Quora account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start answering on questions, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the Status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option. In automating answer on question on Quora using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Quora. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the answers tab and select answer on question on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Quora answer on question. For query type, let's select topic list. Then let's paste the same topic ID from earlier. Click add. For manage answer, let's type alien again. For queries, we only have one, so let's select it. For filter text, it's up to you. Then let's click add comment to list. For job configuration, let's select slow. For answer filters, it's up to you. Then let's manage blacklisted users, private blacklist. When you're ready, Let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Quora accounts. Since we only have one, let's go with that by checking the box, then click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that you have successfully created our Quora answer on questions campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.